I want you to imagine with me for a moment, you or maybe someone you know is walking through the desert and you are dry. You've not had water for a long time. And you see a well in the distance and you're looking forward to that well and getting there and your hopes get uh, built up and then when you get to that well, discover it's bone dry. Tim LaHaye writes in his book entitled Revelation Unveiled, and I'm quoting, Many thirsty souls stumble through the desert of this world and then finally see what they think is hope in the form of a church, only to find upon entering that it is completely dead. I, I pray that when wayfarers living in this area are searching for hope and they make their way to this body of believers, I pray they're not disappointed. For our very name invites people stumbling through this desert of a world without hope to find their hope here. The Church of Jesus Christ it has been said, is not a country club for the saved. It is a hospital for the hurting. When a lost and searching soul reaches the point where they're finally willing to step inside the church, what they need to find there is someone who cares. What if every one of us, and I mean every one of us, came each week to worship, but before we came, we prayed and we asked God to help open our eyes to see anyone that we might minister to, to comfort the hurting and to help the needy. A church that belongs to Jesus Christ as more than just a likable pastor or praise team that has rehearsed well or a nice building. A church that belongs to Jesus Christ openly demonstrates the love of Christ, emphasizes knowing the word of Christ. Hear my heart. We need to be, we should long to be, an asylum for the lost, a refuge for the brokenhearted, a home for the prostitute and the adulterer, a hospital for the alcoholic and the drug addict. If our only involvement in outreach as individuals or even as a congregation is what is spent through the missions ministry, we aren't a church. We're instead like the church at Sardis, which is why we have to constantly be asking ourselves, not once, but many times, are we bearing fruit for the Lord Jesus Christ? Are we excited and alive at what Christ has called us to do in this culture? It's my hope that we be a church that doesn't just talk about prayer, but prays. That we be a church where people don't just give to the Lord because they feel like they have to, but because they want to. May God make this church one where souls are being won to the Lord because God's saints are growing in the Lord and everyone is being transformed by the Lord. God forbid that we would become content to simply go through spiritual motions. <laughs>